Uh, this preview is not fully edited. It's not the way I usually edit CSGO clips. This is something I put together really quick just for a quick preview, just so you could see uh, the transition effect itself. So, yeah. If you cut me wide open, I can cut your storm slack. If you're going, I'm leaving. I might never be back. I know it's not easy. It's a matter of fact. Hello, Tarek here. Today's tutorial is going to be on Sony Vegas and it's going to be a offset effect which I'm going to be showing you. I'll have a preview up uh, either before saying this or after. Either way, um, for this effect you're going to need to render your two clips together where you want the transition to happen. So I've just got a JW Orb clip um, and I've also got a spray down clip with an M4 on dust. Now, uh, before you render them together, make sure that they are split correctly to where you want the transition to happen. So basically, I mean, where he's pulling his knife out, I don't want this in the video, so I'm going to split that straight out. And on this M4 clip, I don't want it so he's looking at the door, so I'm going to split that entirely out as well, all the way up until he starts shooting. And so yeah, I'm just going to do that real quick now. So give me a second. So that can be deleted, then if I scroll across this, I'm going to push it forwards. All the way until he starts shooting. Maybe a little bit back. Just about here I think will do perfectly. So split that, delete that, put them together. Course properties disable resample onto maintain aspect ratio. Don't want any ghosting happening, and then just render your clip. So once this is done, I shall be back. Right, so we are back. Um, first thing you want to do once you've rendered your clip is import it into your project media and import it to the timeline. Next, find where your two clips meet in this rendered footage. So mine's just there. I'm just going to put a marker here and call it split. split sorry. Uh, to add a marker, just press M on your keyboard and it will add one. Next, you want to go back about 20 keyframes or so or whenever you feel looks good or comfortable. Um, I'm going to do mine right here and just click S to split then go back to your marker and go forwards 20 keyframes so one There is perfect for me, just right there. And then click split again. Next, you want to click the middle clip that you just made. Go to video FX, TV simulator, drag and drop it, reset to none onto your clip. Then click animate down here and click this little sync cursor to media timeline. That's going to sync this timeline to the preview. So, to start with, we are going to want to find where our clip meets. And it's right here. So, I'm going to turn this all the way to 1500. Actually, 1600 will do fine, I think. And then all the way to the end and scroll it all the way back up. Now that's going to create sort of a reverse effect. So if I show you here, if I preview this, see what it looks like. This may seem a little fast.
we just have another look at that. So that is going a little bit fast for me, so what I'm going to do is just put this up a little bit to 1,900. And then let's do another preview render again and see what that looks like. That's much better, much smoother to be honest. Now that is basically the whole tutorial but I'm just going to add something to make it look a little bit better because it does look a little bit choppy the way you can see these lines so if you want to get rid of that what you can do is go to your video effects tab scroll up until you see linear blur and then just put vertical lights on top of it. Now you're going to need to animate this again just the amount you don't need to animate the angle because it's already vertical and click here to where your TV simulator is and then just click the amount tab and then you can add it as much or as less as you want then go to the end of the clip and just set the amount to none and go to the start of the clip and set the amount to none I'm actually going to intensify this a little bit more and then if we do a preview render again we can see what it looks like right so that looks somewhat decent but it's a little bit too intense I think in my opinion so I'm just going to turn that down just slightly So it's a lot of fiddling around and getting the settings that you like. So that looks perfectly fine to me. Um, yeah, there are a lot more sort of advanced effects you can do with this, but I'm not going to explain them all in this video. There for you to find. Render out. this out and put it at the start of the video as a preview. Um, if you need any more help with this sort of tutorial, then just comment down below. I'll be sure to reply to all comments if I can. And if you've got any tips to add to this tutorial, then do comment as well. And yeah, I hope this helps. Bye-bye.